What's up guys? Welcome back to Ran When Parked. I'm going to start today's episode off a little different with a little bit of a pro tip for you guys. If the rear pinion in your vehicle does this, you have a major problem and should probably fix it. You can thank me later for that one. What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Ran When Parked. You probably noticed in the intro sequence there that the rear end and the honey badger here has completely blown apart and is trashed. But don't worry, because today we're going to ignore that and work on something much more fun. Maybe you're noticing a pattern develop here. All right, so today, probably gonna be kind of a short episode. We're gonna be fabricating a battery box for this thing. So I have two batteries in this, one on the passenger side, one on the driver's side, right back here behind the cab, attached to the frame rail. And this side already has a custom box. It's pretty basic, made out of uh, angle iron. It works great though. It's kind of Spartan, like the whole rest of the truck. I like it, looks cool. On the other side, I actually used an old one. Now on these trucks originally, on F100s at least, uh, the battery was mounted to the firewall right on the passenger side. So that's what this bracket would have been for originally. This mounted on the firewall of a 61 to 66 F100. So it works and stuff, but it kind of looks ugly. It's a little janky and it doesn't match the other side. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make a real simple battery tray. Something functional, something simple to construct and something cheap most importantly. And it'll match the other side. Uh, so let's get after it. We're going to start cutting the material up. All right, so we got all our pieces cut. Everything fits together pretty well. Uh, I might have to do a little bit of grinding just to get it to fit you know, just the way I want it to. But the next step is we're gonna have to go and get our, uh, our battery out, because I'll drop the battery in it when I tack it just to make sure it all fits flat and level and nice. And then also we're gonna wanna take our old mount off so I have the hardware. We will drill a couple mount tabs into our mounting plates before we weld it all together, just because it'll be a whole lot easier now than it will be later. Uh, and then we'll start tacking this thing together and see how it all fits. So let's go take the old one apart.
All right, guys, so that's it for today's episode. I know this was a short one and maybe even a little bit boring. Uh, I mean, in reality, that battery box is pretty inconsequential, and in real time, it only took me a couple hours. But I think it was important, and I want to post it for one very, very basic reason, and that is that this is the reality of car projects, right? Uh, I think in a lot of situations, people get the perspective that every day is fun. Every day is like the day that you first started or the first test drive or the day it first goes on the dyno. And the reality of the situation is, if you're going to build something like the Honey Badger behind me here, my RX-7 over in the garage there, it is going to be day after day after day of tiny little inconsequential projects, just like this battery box, hundreds or even thousands of little projects like that, that add up to the totality of what you're trying to do here. So I started this YouTube channel to help people uh, to try to show them how to start these projects or how to finish these projects. And I've been doing this for 10 or 12 years. I started when I was a teenager and I've gotten a lot of questions in that time. But the two questions I get more than anything else is one, where did I learn how to do this? And two, where do you start a project like this? And the answers are very, very simple. One, I learned by doing, I learned by, by failing. I learned by screwing things up. You know, on that RX-7, I built five different turbo systems for that thing before I had one that actually functioned the way I wanted it to. And the second thing is, you start anywhere. I mean, there doesn't have to be a method to your madness here. I, I mean, for a young person that's getting started out in this, my advice would be honestly be don't try to look too far ahead. If you try to look too far ahead, if you try to gain the whole scope, you're going to bury yourself. You're going to get overwhelmed and you're going to get into a situation where you never really start. And that's the antithesis of what you're trying to do here, right? So I always tell people and that are asking me that, you know, go out there and just start. I mean, I told one of my good friends when he asked me this, just go out there and tear the engine out of your truck and then you have no other option but to complete the project. And that seems like it's poor advice, but really I think it's the best advice I could possibly give because it's impossible to get people prepared for the fact that it's just going to be day after day after day of mundane little things like building a very simple battery box for your truck. But it's worth it in the end. And it's impossible to explain it's worth it in the end. You just have to dive off into the deep end and find out that it's worth it in the end. So that's why I wanted to post this episode, and that is why I wanted to make this channel. Generally speaking, I'm going to try to be, you know, post much more entertaining content for you guys. I realize this wasn't very entertaining today, but I think it served its purpose. And anyone who watched all the way to the end, I hope they take a lesson out of this. So guys, just go out there, start something, get moving on it. I promise it'll be worth it in the end. Now, after this episode, I got another one coming that is another vehicle that I've had for a long time that I haven't showed you guys yet, but I'm pretty excited. I think it's going to be pretty entertaining. So go hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, because I got a lot of things coming, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Ran When Parked.